Here we have an audio vox video in a bag portable VCR with 4 inch LCD screen. That's the unit there. The original box model VPB VBP 1000. 4 inch LCD, LCD monitor and video cassette player. Take video to your car, boat, home, or office. Watch videos, play video games. Sets up in minutes. Now it says right here, this is not a TV. Used only for video playback. So you can plug your video game console into it via the uh, RCA inputs there. I don't know if it works or not, but everything is here. Got the bag, original packaging. So let's take it out of the box and look at this thing. Here's the bag, with the unit. I don't know what year this thing is. This thing even works still. If it does, the batteries are probably, the uh, belts are probably perished on it. That's your little itty bitty screen. This VC tape goes in. It's a full fledged VCR made by AudioVox. Power. Get your do light. Stop, eject, rewind, play, fast forward. Up to two headphones, so two people can listen. Headphone one, headphone two. Again, your inputs. Let's see if this thing uh, comes out of the bag or not, and let's take a look at this unit. All right, here it is out of the bag. It's got the straps in the back here, so it doesn't fall out. It's held in place by these two Velcro straps here. They go in through the little loop here, the Velcro in, that keeps it inside the bag. Got the storage compartment here. On the back, you got your holes for the speakers. You got your little net, so you can hook it at an angle. In the back here is where the power cables were. You got your uh, AC adapter. It runs on 12 volts DC. You can plug this into your mains outlet. It comes with your cigarette adapter. You can plug this into your cigarette lighter or auxiliary port of your car and run it that way. Don't know if it was ever used or not because it's got your zip tie on it. The only thing left to do is uh, power it on. See if this thing even works at all, if it still works or not. I don't know when it was made, but it runs on uh, 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Plus or minus 0.2 amps. This unit contains 4.9% recycled content. I was looking for a portable VCR. Basically like nostalgia. So I think Blockbuster used to rent VCRs if I remember correctly. They are like a blue plastic briefcase. They hung on like a rack. So if you didn't have a VCR, you could rent a VCR along with the movie you were renting. If I remember correctly. I was looking for like rental VCRs. Just out of curiosity, and I came across this thing. So you can watch your videos in the car. You know, before DVD players were a thing. So anyway, like I said, let's power this thing up, see if she even works. I plugged it in, I heard, I think the head spin up for a brief second. Light is on. So it's got power. Because that's on. So, let me put a tape in and see if she'll even do anything. Alright, got a tape. This thing even work. It's working. A little fuzzy in some spots. Audio is turned all the way up and I can't hear shit. I don't think you can hear that at all. Uh, let me see. I need some kind of speaker system here so I can hear this thing. I guess let me plug it into my computer speakers. Well, it's plugged into the headphone jack to there. This is cranked all the way up. That's cranked all the way up, and it's still barely a whisper. Time for breath. 
payload increased, and so did the size of the engine. Isn't an amplifier so quiet? All right, fast forwarding a pre uh, home tape, you can hear it making noises as it's fast forwarding. There's some seriously grown-up engineering going on as they create the hydraulic system for their muncher. Now, if you can hear it or not, I can just barely hear it. And I say everything's turned up loud as it'll go. See the the uh, vertical post on the arm. I like to begin to see that hydraulics is a almost like a kit of parts. Yeah. They've got all those bits. They need some work, but they're there. But I haven't seen yet what they're going to do. With, where's the arm? <laughs> It's probably quiet for reasons you don't want to disturb the driver or people who aren't interested in what you're watching. It's tape in there, so the buttons lit up, but it works. It works. You know, back before portable DVD players, you had a VCR so you could take in the car with you. It does work. It's just very, very quiet. It's fantastic. My chaos crew are doing very well, actually. Almost need a preamp. Well, I like to Decided to experiment. Got a phono preamp here. Headphones go into the input on the phono, out into the power uh, peer speakers, and now it's a lot louder than it was previously. So it's, I mean, it's probably designed to be quiet by design, maybe. Now, see, not disturbing anybody, especially if you're trying to sleep on a long road trip. But I dig out my preamp and boost the signal. Typical scientific rigor. So now you can actually hear it. It's not bad, is it? I think I have to let it pass. And we perform a highly precise technical weight test of our own. The business ends of the machines are coming together. The Chaos crew make their jaws come to life. And those hunks in trunks hang up their beautiful basher. When they're finished, these machines will come face to face with some serious brickwork. So does John have any tips for our wannabe wreckers? This is an old program on used to air on TLC. In the US it's called Junkyard Wars. In the UK it's known as Scrap Heap Challenge. But it does lay back on. It works. In the used tape is a lot clearer than the factory tape. No tracking adjustments that I can see. You got your volume and brightness on the side here. On the side you got your brightness and your volume. So, got the audio boosted via the preamp. So, it worked. You can't record with it, obviously. It's made for playing only. Built in 4 inch LCD screen. And you can power it via your car adapter. So, it works. It works. <laughs>